Hey everybody, Edgar is here. Welcome back to the Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain, episode number 16. And so we, here we are in the, uh, in the fuselage at the top of the summit. And I have confirmation from many of you, uh, including Willow West, that these doors and this container are actually a part of a result of, or the lack of doors is a, is a result of a bug from the prior update, which they have now fixed, but uh, I had to uh, open this up before the fix, and so those doors have now fallen through the plane. But apparently there's a way to get underneath the plane that I didn't know about. Shut up. My gosh. Impeccable timing. I'm not starting over. I have a little bit of a headache, so I'm not... I'm not going to... Uh, if the quality suffers, I apologize. But uh, I did want to get an episode out to you guys. Well, I could. I do have to wake up early in the morning with the little ones uh, before I go into work. But uh, definitely wanted to see if we could locate these. Uh... And those birds are kind of loud and annoying, aren't they? I guess there's a way to figure out how to get down to this underneath this plane somehow. I'm not... Can you get down here? 29 degrees here. And we're starting to get a little cold. I don't know how to get under this. Uh oh, is this it? I'm afraid I'm going to get stuck. How do you get under the plane? It's not down there. Okay, now I'm a little confused. How am I supposed to get underneath this plane? It made it sound so easy, like there's a gap or something. Now. I am not seeing any way to get under there. But apparently it's a little tricky if you do get under there. You can, it's, it can be a little tough to get out, so... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, someone else was asking, can you harvest mountaineering rope? Freaking brilliant question. I don't know. We're going to find out here. The answer to that question is a no. So, all right, there we go. There's the answer. Uh, drop it. There we go. All right. How much? How many pain meds do we have? I'll probably grab a couple if I want to try going down this mountain. Oh, that's empty. Where was the pain meds? Wasn't there pain meds around here somewhere? No, that's not it. How are we doing on food? Oh, we're good on food. Really good shape on food, actually. Alright, well, nine hours of daylight left. What I say we do is we warm up here real quick. Why am I getting so cold so fast? It's 29 degrees. It's not that that cold. I say we just rest, warm up a little bit here. We don't need to even start a fire because we'll get enough warmth from this. Let's just rest for one hour. That should that should warm us up almost all the way. Let's start heading back down the hill. So I have I do have confirmation from multiple people that one of the containers near one of the first ropes, air quotes, is uh Okay, well it's still cold. Still pretty cold. Um what do you think? You think I should start a fire, get a little Let's get a little coffee in us. Let's do that. Let's just let's just make a little fire, have have some coffee. I think I can start a fire hundred percent now. I don't think I even that's really close. Well if I use the fire striker it'll be hundred percent. So let's just do that. Let's just do the cedar wood. But I have multiple Sources saying that uh, it's near the first rope, one of the, the top of one of my first ropes. Now I don't know which series they're talking about. Like the first time I ever came into the map, that first rope where the bear got me on like episode 55 or 56, whatever it was, from two uh, two series ago, or if it was the first rope I climbed in the Iron Man episode, or first first rope I came to in this episode. I don't even remember which one that is, but. Uh, Let's cook this up and try not to forget to drink it. There we go. Let's drink that up real quick here. Lest we forget. 
we've got a little bit of water for the road. We're going to be in good shape. And it's always easier traveling downhill anyway. So, starting to warm up here. Plus, we're next to a fire. I think what we'll do is we'll probably... Eight hours of daylight. We'll probably just rest here next to the fire. Just to speed along the whole warming up process here. Oh, so the funny story about the FBI surveillance van I want to tell you about was we got this call. Somebody called in and said, man, I just had this thing flash across my screen um, saying something about an FBI surveillance van. And I thought it was really weird. And my Sarge actually took this call. And uh, so he goes out to the area and is like, talks. he looks all over the place. And the guy thought it was really weird, so I thought we should know about it. And... Uh, Sarge goes out, looks all over the area, doesn't see anything at all suspicious. And in in our area, you pretty much know what cars belong parked in front of houses, and what what is typical and what is not typical. And I guess everything looked pretty normal. Well, he uh, he stopped and spoke to the guy. He was like, "Hey, so this came across on your TV or what?" He goes, "No, on my on my uh, on my phone. It came across on my phone." And he showed him, <laughs> and he was searching for a Wi Fi hotspot and some joker put in there, named their Wi-Fi wi hotspot FBI surveillance van. And Sarge like, oh yeah, people do that. They'll do CIA, NSA surveillance van just to be a joker. And he's like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> all right, we do. I, I, can, I can say this. Uniform patrol, you deal with a, a wide variety of calls. We'll just leave it at that. But that was a pretty, pretty good one. He, he had to tell me all about it. All right, here we go. Let's just uh, climb on down here. Make our way on down. But yeah, I wanted to pass that along. And today I had an inch. Well, it was a pretty slow day today, honestly. I mean, I just had a, a medic call, and I think that was about it. Oh, an alarm, which wasn't actually an alarm. But it uh, turned out to be absolutely nothing. But... Um, Anyway, part of me wonders if I should put that rope. I do have another rope over here. I can put it here. I wonder if I want to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to explore that area over there a little bit more, like the lower levels of that area, because I have this area. But then again, I think one of the first ropes we're talking about is that one at the creek where the waterfall is. And I think it might be one of those containers there. I think I'm going to go over there first, because my gut is just telling me it's going to be that container where we find uh, can openers and sewing kits in abundance. But uh, one of the things that I did was, at the, towards the end of the shift, it was dark. I, I went to this little ball field area. It's kind of tucked back in, some, in a wooded area and opens up into a, into a ball field. And uh, there was a car back there with New York plates. And I'm like, oh, okay. Got some kids back here messing around or whatever. And uh, I, I get there and hit my floodlights on it. Um, there's no signs to say they can't be, can't be back there or anything like that, but, um, anyway, a couple younger kids, I wouldn't say like kids, but like early twenties, maybe late teens, uh, a guy and a girl come up to my car and I was like, Hey, I'm just curious. What are you guys doing out here? It's kind of odd. And, uh, they're like, Oh, we're out here for, there's this Instagram thing where someone said that they, that it's like a scavenger hunt and they, they hid $50 out here and we're out here looking for it. And I mean, they had like a handheld spotlight and everything. So it looked. I mean, it all matched up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And they're like, uh, do you need us for anything? I was like, no, I was just, just curious, just asking. I said, actually, I, I am going to kick you out of here and go ahead and start looking for something, <laughs> uh, some money that I dropped around here, you know, air quotes again. And they, you know, they kind of laughed about that. But uh, I, got the, I don't know if I want to carry this with me. I don't think I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to actually leave that. Until I know for sure where I want to put it. I guess you can always take it take it down again, but uh, if I was heading back towards that section of the map back that way, I'd use it to go down that rock that I was just looking at. But I think I'm actually going to try to find the rope over here first. Now Willow West described the containers being like in the middle of an open field, which... 
I'm not. I have no idea where that would be. Other than there, that kind of looks like a middle of an open field. But I'm, I'm pretty sure for, pretty sure we checked all those. I mean, we'll double check them just to be sure. But she probably would have said it's the one at the bottom of the second rope, and you just forgot to check it. But uh, I don't know. So anyway, I uh, I left them there, and you know, good luck to them, sort of thing. And uh, then I got to think about. It. I'm like, man, that's actually kind of dangerous going out and doing. It. I mean, it's good that they had more than one person. It wasn't just like you know, a guy or a girl just going out there on their own and searching for it, because I could see somebody doing, like, a Craigslist killer type thing. Oh, snap. Speaking of being baited into open fields with uh, the lure of treasure and then getting attacked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was like, so I kind of kept, I drove by uh, before I went into headquarters. Oh, he's going to run right at it. He's going to get himself killed. Uh, I drove by a couple times before the end of my shift just to make sure that they were still uh, still vertical. And it looked like everything was on the up and up. So, hey, what's going on there, buddy? You coming? Okay, you're not coming after. Yeah, we already checked these, right? These are definitely not. Yeah. Pain meds. I'll take those. How are we doing on antiseptic anyway? We're doing good. Yeah. Okay. Part of me wants to break these up, but I have a feeling there's not going to be anything there. What's that over there? Is that another... I can't tell what that is. I, I don't think that that is a... Now, that's that's the rope I can use to get down. But what happens if I go down here? Does that just go in a big circle? I think that just goes in a big circle. Right? Yeah, I think it does. I think I need to go down one more level. I, th I think it's going to be the rope at the top of the waterfall at the bottom level with the creek that runs down towards the lake. I think that's... Yeah, that, that tree points right up at that rope, doesn't it? Neat little clues. Well, we know for sure it's not that one. Getting close to our cave. It's amazing how close the summit is once you... Uh, set these ropes up here but yeah I was like man I kind of need to be checking on these kids I don't want them getting axe murdered after I just talked to them pretty good kids okay um no 32 degrees you know what I think I'm going to go this way I'm going to go this way walk around this way we know for sure it's not this container. But this is a way that we normally don't go. I think I've only gone this way once. And I can't remember for the life of me if there's containers over here. How are we doing on food? Pretty good. Pretty good on everything, actually. Thinking about grabbing a couple of these, but really don't need to, so we'll just leave them. They don't go bad, but you never know later on when I'll be stumbling through this area. Be extremely desperate and be extremely glad to see that. Oh, there's some maple branch or maple sapling. Go ahead and grab that real quick here. Oh, it's birch. Never mind. Hmm. Normally, isn't birch normally grow in the groups, isn't it? Isn't that the way it normally works? Can I get up here and get a good vantage point? Maybe see see some containers? That might be helpful. Let's try that. Do I have a flare? I do have a flare. Okay. Let's see what I can see from up here. If I can find any more containers other than the ones we already know about. So, yeah, we already know about you. we got you. And the trees are right up in my grill, so it's kind of hard to see. So that wasn't a big help at all. But this would be the perfect type of a hill to get a, sp a sprain on. And there's a wolf. I, had, I thought there was a patrol wolf back here. Oh, there's another one right there, isn't it? Yeah, he is. I've got I've got a mountain wolf. Normally they stay kind of off the. Uh, off the hills, but not these ones right here. 
Right, let's see if we can make it through here without attracting the beast. Did we do it? Oh, ouch. Bump my head. This game's really realistic. I bump my head and I, I have a headache. It's a little out of sync. I'll give him that much, but hey. All right. So I don't think there's a. I think there's a container here. I think there is a container up here, if I remember correctly. This wolf is tough to get to get around. I do believe. Hmm. Then that other wolf's coming around. Can we go up and around. Maybe this just go this way. Okay. This this is the waterfall rope right here, and no, this is the creek that'll take us right back to our cabin. And hey. Only you can prevent forest fires. Alright, let's head on down. There is a container up here somewhere. I do remember that. Because I remember risking it. Oh. Now if I go up on this... Can I get away from a wolf if I go up here? We might have to find out. I know I can if I go down that rope. Now see, there's some... Oh, point, see, those are pointing towards that rope, aren't they? That, that one probably is. Point towards that rope right there. Okay, I think there is a. I, th I think there is a container right here somewhere. Now there's a base cave right there. There's home base. Where are you at, birds? Oh, you're just flying over. Because this is where I got f first got my face eaten off by a wolf, or almost did. I can't remember. Son of a gun. Uh. Down the rope we go. Wolf or bear? Wolf or bear? Hmm. It'd be cool if he like peered down at me, wouldn't it? Like some droll lands on the screen and just kind of like blurs my vision. Okay, well. I'm not sure. Okay, bear. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Okay, I'm gonna work my way around this one. I'm gonna kind of go around this way to get back to the cabin, I guess. Uh, worst comes to worst, we'll just we'll make our own fishing tackle and use that for sewing, I guess. But we gave these items down here some time to time to cure anyway. Plus, getting to know this map is, is key. Uh, Where does this bear go? I know it comes around this way a little bit because I slept there and got eaten. Okay, that one's kind of... Why is he trotting? Oh, the bear. Well, ah, circle of life right there. It's more like a triangle of life at the moment. Is he going to go after that? He's going after that rabbit, isn't he? Run, rabbit! Run! No! Oh. I guess I should have uh, spoke a little louder. I mean, they do have big ears, but... Poor rabbit. It's amazing to think that we started, like, right... Where did we start? Over there, on the yeah, kind of on the back side of that mountain, that that peak right there. Now I think this is sort of the way I came in from Desolation Point, actually. Now I, there, I think there might be containers down here, but I don't know if I've searched through those or not. This is an area I typically don't wander around a whole lot back here, but I mean the weather's good. We're in pretty darn good shape, so it's starting to get a little bit tired, but we're really close to the cabin, so I'm not too concerned. Is there a container down here somewhere? Hmm. I'm gonna get up on this hill, see if I can. There's a sapling of some kind there I'm not going back for that we have plenty of wood 
And we're going to start getting a little fatigued, I think. Yeah, we're starting to lose our... Starting to lose our overall carry capacity. Oh, this would be a great spot for a prepper cache. What does that sound? I swear I hear stuff running around. Is it just me? Could be. Wait, what is that? There's something black down there. That's a wolf. That is a wolf. They're always coming right at us. I saw ears pointed at me. Now, what's that pointing to? That is pointing to something, obviously. Maybe it's a possible prepper cache location, since it is such a good one. Alright, I don't know. I'm going to go up this way. I think I'm pretty sure up over this hill is where we start for Desolation Point. Maybe I should just head on back to the cabin, which is, should be straight through there. Yeah, we'll peek our head up here to see what's going on. If we can. I don't know if we'll make it. There we go. Maybe the hill is a little too... A little too steep for us. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is the route I came in on the first time I came into... What am I calling this? Desolation Point? I meant Timberwolf Mountain. I think I've been saying that wrong the whole time. Yeah. Okay, so there's the lake. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure that there's some containers down here. You know what? Four hours of daylight left. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll just stop and have ourselves a spot of tea or coffee. Let's do that. Might as well. Warm ourselves up a little. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, come on. We all know it's 100% success rate. No need for the drama. Alright. I know it didn't take that long at all to cook this up. Like, it was just a matter of, like, 7, 10 minutes, something like that. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Should give us a nice little boost here. And a hundred calories. Nothing to sneeze at. There we are. Still a little tired, but we bought ourselves some time. So let's get going. There we go. I'm not seeing any indications of bad weather coming in, so I'm just gonna keep it keep track of where we're at here and keep the cabin on my there's some cargo containers, I think, right? Yep, right down there. Maybe. There's some debris. Did we already check that? I don't know. But keep the uh, cabin on my left shoulder there as best we can. Alright. Looking for any wolves. That's kind of why I'm pausing. It's easier to see them moving around when everything else on the screen isn't moving at the same time. Alright, I guess what we'll do here is we'll, we'll check these containers. Just double check them. Maybe they're back here. Ooh, I don't know. Are there containers back there? Let's check it. Part of me thinks that there was some resources back here. I can't remember if it was just like saplings and maybe just some really random items, but part of me thinks that there was. But this is definitely the way you get back to uh, Pleasant Valley.
They pretty much shoot you straight towards the uh, cabin, don't they, when you come in here. If you're in a blizzard, just pretty much keep going that way and you're going to hit the lake. Is there anything down here? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think there's any containers. I had a comment say, no offense or anything, but sometimes I listen to you just to hear the music from the game, so I'll shut up now. What's the temperature in here? 20 degrees? Yeah, we've got plenty of, uh, I'm reneging. I'm <laughs> I'm talking now. <laughs> oh, can we get up there? Nope, that's leaf timber. We're not, we're not allowed to do that. Go, go on back. Nope, we didn't see that. This is the only map that exists in our world. Okay. Oh well. I think the next next thing we should do is probably once we're gonna stay at the cabin, get recover. And then uh, we'll probably explore the area where it has that fallen bridge, uh, the tree bridge. It's sort of like, I think that's where we spawned in on this map. We're going to go check that area a little bit more thoroughly on this level. Because this, this level of the map is pretty, pretty vast. What is that? What are those? Oh, it's just twigs. It looked like feathers at first, which kind of, excuse me. Can I get up there? That would be interesting. Because that definitely looks like it was... I don't think I can. Nah. That looks like I'm supposed to be able to try to get up there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. I can't... I don't think I can we worm my way up there. Nope. Nope. Oh well. We definitely did some distance in this episode. Starting all the way up there. Made it all the way down here. Didn't get bitten or lose 1% of condition the whole time either, so. So hey, that's pretty successful. How long have we been alive? It's 18 days. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. Yeah, I keep trying to go and comment in the... Uh, when I'm uh, at work and I have a slow minute, I'll just pull over to the parking lot and bring up the comments and try to comment on the computer, man, and it's just not letting me do it. I have to do it at home. So, like I said, if, if I read your comments, you'll, you'll know when I've gone through and read the comments because you'll see a bunch of thumbs up for everybody. Because, you know, I like to, if, you're, if you take time to give me a comment, I'd like to either, i like to give you a thumbs up and respond. I mean, unless it's completely off the wall or something like that and idiotic, but that's very rarely the case, so... All right, now down here there is, just gotta find it. Where are you at? This is a pretty good day for exploring, actually. Ah, is that the container? No, that's part part of a wing, I think, or something. It's not a, definitely not a container. What is this thing? Will it tell me? Looks like part of a wing. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Maybe the vertical stabilizer? Hard to tell. Kinda wanna go back there and do some exploring too. Maybe we'll do that. We'll have to put that on our agenda also. I thought that there was containers down here somewhere. Hmm. That's like a half a shelter right there. There were no shelters on this map, and you could build shelters. I'd, I'd probably turn that into a shelter pretty quick. It's got a nice snow wall. I mean, that's good insulation right there. Anything down here? No. Okay. Pretty sure we're getting close to the cabin. I think this is our area where we normally collect wood for the cabin. 
Part of me wants to climb up there. See if I can get all the way up there. Yeah, there's the cabin. All right. Well, complete strikeout. Yeah, I definitely want to go back there and do some more exploring also. But we'll probably do that first and then head over into that section of the map. Uh, give me some guidance on this container because I know I'm pretty sure I've seen it myself. Wolf is back. And our deer is back? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, seek refuge here. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Tip jar, Patreon, etc., etc. <gasps> hey, all my goodies. are still here. So, I'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, get an hour's sleep and uh, call that an episode. Thank you so much for watching. 18 days, 7 hours. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are staying warm wherever you're at. And if you're uh, on the East Coast, uh, hope that you're not getting, uh, getting, uh, screwed up too much by that blizzard so y'all take care if you get stuck in your cars or anything like that and the snow's all piling up around you and you're running the engine to keep warm make sure you're keeping that tailpipe clean also or cleared out to also i don't want to i'd hate to pass up on some simple advice like that and have one of you guys die from carbon monoxide poisoning or whatever the heck it is so yeah y'all take care and uh stay warm laters